an interesting topic. OK. Chapter 16, Section 4. Schizophrenia and mood disorders, girls. Have you ever heard about the schizophrenia? Yes. Yeah. Uh, what, what, what did you hear about schizophrenia, girls? Um, that's like your voice is messed up. What? Like what? Like your voice is messed up. I can't hear you, Andy. You hear voices in your head. Yes, you hear voices in your head, exactly. You hear voices in your head. Schizophrenia, a group of disorders characterized by confused and disconnected thoughts, emotions, and perception. The person who suffers from schizophrenia, he had disconnected thoughts. Uh, so schizophrenia is a problem of cognition. Cognition is knowing. You know what is the meaning of cognition? Realizing. Okay? But it also involves emotion, perception, and motor function. What does it mean? We, we will understand now more. The one who is diagnosed with schizophrenia, he often have difficulty using language to communicate. He cannot communicate with others with the language. Okay, he's confused language. Why? Because the schizophrenia affects the working memory. So he starts a sentence and he doesn't complete it. He starts a sentence and then he about uh, college and then ends it about uh, food. And he will not remember why, because he doesn't remember the beginning of the sentence in order to finish it. OK, he has unrelated thoughts, as we can say, unconnected thoughts. So what does he do? He withdraws from life. He takes a side. OK. Delusions, hallucination, disorganized speech, flattened effect, reduced speech, and lack of an in, in, uh, an, an initiative. Okay, these are symptoms of schizophrenia. They suffer from what? Delusion and hallucination. Delusion, delusion is false beliefs. He believes false beliefs in the face of contrary evidence. There is no evidence. Hallucination is perception in the absence of corresponding sensation. He perceives a sound when in fact there is no sound. Because you know that we hear with our brains, not our ears, right? That your brain gives a signal to the ear to listen. Your brain yes. gives a signal to your eyes to look. He, he receives these signals in his brain without, without a source. So he hears voices as, as, uh, as who said, Ronim? Are you with me, girls? Grade 12? Yes, yes. So he receives voices, and these voices are not there. So he imagined that there are people who wants to kill him. He imagined that there are people who uh, uh, insult him. They run uh, after him. They chase him. They want to kill him. Ha does he, does this really happen? It doesn't happen. But he he himself hears it in his mind, so he leave, he believes it one hundred percent. So he doesn't imagine. He he has false signals in the brain. He receives false signals. You understand the reason? Yes. So people who suffer from schizophrenia, they suffer from delusion and hallucination. Schizophrenic, a person who is it, uh, schizophrenic, incoherence. Why, why incoherence? Because, because as we said, he has thoughts, unconnected thoughts. He starts a sentence and he doesn't finish it. So he has declined in thought process. The language, they call his language as word salad because the words are like salad. He brings words from about college, about food, about friendship, and connect them together. Disturbance of effect, inappropriate emotions for the circumstances. Maybe he, he laughs in a funeral. He cries in a happy situation. Why? Because he has inappropriate emotions. He doesn't feel it well. 
deterioration in normal movement. He starts to slow his movement or non-movement. Okay, yani at all, he doesn't move at all. Decline in previous levels of function. A, con a cognitive flood. The person is unable to focus his or her attention. As we said, cognitive is feeling, realizing. So we have types of schizophrenia. The paranoid type. Have you uh, heard it even in Arabic that he says he is a paranoid? Paranoid is a person who suffers from schizophrenia. And here he, it, is, it is divided into two parts. Maybe he, he thinks he is a grandeur or persecution. What is grandeur and what is persecution? A person who suffers from delusion, delusion is false beliefs in his mind. He might think himself a grandeur. What is a grandeur? I'm the savior of my the world. Haven't you heard about people who name themselves Jesus? Especially in the United States, when you walk in the streets and they say, I'm Jesus, I'm the savior of the world. Yes, this is a man who suffers from schizophrenia and he thinks he, is, he will save the world from suffering. They say that Hitler had this paranoia because he says, I said, I will lead the world. OK. Or. He thinks that someone is watching him, someone wants to kill him. Someone is planning to take revenge of him. So maybe he thinks himself the superior of the world or he is a persecution. Someone will attack him anytime. This is a paranoid schizophrenia. OK. Has lesser problems with remembrance, but in, they say the paranoid is less in in uh, in remembering than other kinds. Look here. These are the delusions, the false beliefs. Delusion of persecution, he always thinks that there is someone who is chasing him. They want to arrest him. And delusions of grandeur, he thinks himself Jesus the Christ. Okay? Then the second type of schizophrenic, schizophrenia is the catatonic. What is a catatonic? Catatonic is a person who remains motionless for long periods. It just sits like this, like a wax statue, like this. He doesn't move. Or which is worse, he takes a very hard position. OK, and he cannot move from this hard position. He cannot even move him. OK. Like this picture, because this this woman or this man is diagnosed by schizophrenia. He is a schizophrenic, but the catatonic type. He stays like this. He stays like this or in at your book. If you have the booklet, you'll find another picture. He stays like this and you cannot move him. OK. Third time, disorganized. Disorganized incoherent language, as we said, that there is no language. Uh, word salad, inappropriate emotions. He laughs in a funeral. Giggling, giggling for no apparent reasons. He just laughs. Generally disorganized and hallucinations and delusions. He suffers from both. Here. Disorganized schizophrenia, the victim of disorganized schizophrenia cannot form a logical or coherent thoughts. And this causes problems while speaking with others as the victim may not stick to the currently discussion, discussing topic and change the subject too often. He starts about topic and he changes it to another topic. So again, we took the paranoid, catatonic and disorganized. The Remission type. Remission type is the person who used to have schizophrenia and then he has been treated or he has been uh, uh, healed from it. But schizophrenia has, uh, it doesn't end. Once a person has a schizophrenia, he can be treated, but it can come back. So that's why they call it a remission type. So anyone whose symptoms are completely gone, the symptoms are gone. And he can talk properly. He, ha he doesn't have any delusions or uh, hallucinations, but he has to take the medicine. OK, the symptoms are still there, but they are not so severe. OK, once he stops the medicine, he will go back to the delusion and hallucination. In undifferentiated, 
type, it is encompasses the basic symptoms of schizophrenia, such as deterioration of daily functioning, hallucination, delusions, inappropriate emotions, and those disorders. It's like he gathered all the symptoms of all the of all kinds, undifferentiated. Okay. It's characterized by episodes of two or more of the following symptoms. So he had many symptoms, delusions, hallucinations, disorganized speech or behavior, catatonic behavior. What is the catatonic that you take up? Uh, he takes a situation and he doesn't change it. Or negative symptoms. But the individual doesn't qualify for or uh, qualify for a diagnosis of paranoid, disorganized or catatonic. OK, so yeah, he has more of these symptoms but not specialized or not diagnosed as paranoid or disorganized or catatonic. Again, paranoid when he thinks himself the grandeur and or the savior of the world. Disorganized when he has disorganized thoughts. And catatonic when the person who takes a position and you cannot move him like a wax status. Schizophrenia is a very complex condition and it requires hospitalization. The person who suffers from schizophrenia has to be in a hospital. The may, patient may go into remission and he may be treated in which the symptoms disappear and the person seems quite normal. But there is no cure. There is no cure. Once a schizophrenic, always a schizophrenic. If he stops the medicine, he will go back. Have you watched the movie, Asif al Izaak for Ahmed Hilmi? No. no. If, if it happened, anyone saw it? If it happened and you watched the movie, in, in the movie, Ahmed Hilmi had schizophrenia. He heard delusions. He once heard that the president is calling him. He hears uh, hallucinations that he thinks that the waiter in the coffee uh, in the cafe always insults him, but he doesn't. Okay. The end of the movie when the doctor says he used to see his father. Yes, this is this was the dilemma. He used to see his father and talk. Yes. film. Asif al No. Okay. He he fell in love with Minna Shalabi and he thought that they traveled together and everything. And there was there was no relation. Yani at the end of the movie, we discover out he has never talked to Minna Shalabi. Okay, he pretends, he imagines. There is always a meme, even uh, in, in in on Facebook and in Instagram, this meme that Ahmed Hilmi and Dalal Abdul Aziz, his mother, hugs him like this. It was when he discovered that his father was dead. Yani he, he used to talk with his father and then she told him, your father is not going to reply you. Your father is not going to reply you. He says, why? She said, because he's she. So she tells him because he's dead. So he he has delusions. He thinks that there are things happening around him while they do not. And at the end of the movie, when the doctor says to him, he say he will talk to his, uh, the doctor and says to him, will I keeps sewing, uh, seeing my father, he says, if you stop the medicine. What are the reasons of schizophrenia? Why would a person, a very normal person, would suffer from schizophrenia? Biological influences, maybe his father, maybe grandfather, one in the, uh, in the family had uh, schizophrenia and then he inherited the genes of it. Uh, maybe by, chem by chemistry and by psychology, uh, physiology, I'm sorry, reasons. Chemical imbalance in the brain. This is the main reason of schizophrenia. When the chemicals in the brain, okay, are imbalance. How imbalance? Yani Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala created the, the chemicals in our brains, the fluid and in, in percentage. If it increases or decreases, it causes delusions. Because as we said that the brain gives signals Brain gives signals to the eyes, to the ears, to the heart. He gives signals when he there is imbalance in the in the chemistry inside here, inside the brain. He starts to give false signals, false signals. So the person receives false signals. People are attacking me. They are planning to kill me. Okay, or he sees his his dead parent. People are born with a nervous system that gets aroused very easily and takes a long time to return to normal. 
So certain chemicals upset the brain's mechanism for processing information, the chemicals. Or maybe a bad experience during childhood. And he kept it inside himself. And when he grew up, because schizophrenia appears at the age of 18, 20, one like this. And when he grew up, this, this experience, you know, like <laughs> exploded. And it caused him to have schizophrenia that when he separates the mind of life, he separates his mind of life because he wants to escape. As we said before, that most of the psychological uh, diseases happen because the person wanted to escape his mind. Okay, girls? Yes. We, we finish, girls. Okay. Uh, schizophrenia is not having more than one personality. Having more than one personality is personality disorder, dissociate, dissociative personality disorder that we discussed previous time. But uh, uh, schizophrenia, as we said, when a person hears delusions and hallucinations in his mind. Are you with me, girls? Yes. Are you interested in the topic? Yes, no. I am. Yeah. I love psychology, Annie. I love it. Me too. <laughs> okay, girls. Uh, girls, I all of you have submitted your quiz. Yes. Okay. Okay, girls. See you next week. Bye bye. Thank you. Welcome, girls. Bye.